Hello, my beautiful vibe tribers. Welcome to your mystic affirmations for Monday, July 1st of 2024. Happy July, everyone. As we move into this energy, remember this is our collective reading for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. In fact, I look forward to it. See you soon, I hope. So let's see what we've got going on here. Oh, we've got two pages and look, they're facing each other. So this one is offering the opportunity of abundance. This is the page of Pentacles. This deck calls it a princess because it's a more feminine energy. The pages uh, are in standard tarot, generally look like male pages. And that's the energy of being able offered abundance and financial viability coming in here as that's an opportunity for abundance to be given and the energy of illumination. So it means something that you may not have known was an opportunity uh, is now showing itself to be an opportunity. It may not have been one previously, but now the light is bringing that in. You're, it's being brought to your attention quite literally. So, Oh, yay, team, as we begin, the Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles are here to assist so that we can move forward with this financial offer. Let's see what we've got going on. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit. Ooh, very nice. So the action king, the king of wands, fire sign king, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Very solid energy of people who are entrepreneurs, people who work for themselves contractually. Uh, they could be um, the energy of, of being the boss. Whatever it is, uh, you don't have to just be a fire sign in order for this to be uh to you because it means in the masculine it's a mature energy that is able to be taken advantage away you can make moves right now so that money coming in is definitely received well by this king divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path we thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, as we place our three cards out, remember we're using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus with intention to create our best possible lives now. So, moving in this energy is very wonderful. And another page. That's three pages now. This is the Page of Cups. It's called the Princess here, but it is the Page of Cups. This is the universe's way of showing you, you will always be provided for. It's There is more than enough and we will always be here to help you. So all of those pages are offering that kind of message as here, here's this being provided, here's this being provided. And we love that because uh, in the interest of affluence, which is wealth and understanding and being able to manage that, I choose to be debt-free and to live an affluent and healthy life. Now, there's such a thing as good debt and bad debt, and sometimes we have to go into debt because we don't just have several hundred thousand dollars floating around in our pocket to buy a home, right? So we have to take on that kind of debt. But I'm talking about constant debt, like living off of credit cards and things like that. I, I learned my lesson from the wrong direction of doing it. So not that I, I am not a master whatsoever. And that is why I seek to be affluent and to be in the energy of releasing myself from that constant. Because you, once you start in debt, you, you're staying in it. You're, it's a cycle. It's made to keep you there. So only enter into it for things that matter and all else um, allow yourself to to attract what you need in order to move forward so we love to be able to live in the energy of not feeling beholding to anyone that is a huge feeling of relief as well and no doubt this is where we have to convince ourselves 
not to second guess ourselves after we make a move forward. I will eventually achieve success because I don't allow myself to doubt. Does that say I instantly receive success? No. I will eventually achieve success, which means it is a process. Yes, we have quick victories here and there, but the whole thing in the, la in the larger scale of a lifetime is that we have to know in our heart before we begin, we're not going to let any doubt step in the way and stop us from our movement forward. It has to be a sacred thing within yourself. And we have, yes, we, we love a yes. And I want to point something out that I just got to find out what this is. So that's a flame. You see that flame lit up above her crown chakra? That's a sacred initiate. That is the enlightened mind plus a bazillion, right? Because you got the rainbow light going here and she's holding that rainbow light in her palm chakras as she pushes that energy up and that beautiful crown chakra is literally lit. There is a flame there. So, yes, we love this energy of a confirmation for our best and highest good. No doubt. Yes, have no doubt. Oh, and the backside is abundance. I just had to show that because there we go. <laughs> yes to abundance. Yes, yes, yes. We all salute that. And... Part of the energy of attracting abundance to us is the way that we see it. Um, the word abundance is a very non-judgmental way of saying wealthy. But if you say wealthy, somebody has a different idea of that. That wealthy means you're a certain kind of person. But if you're an abundant person, you see the difference just by changing the word? I'm just showing you a little example. They, they said it to me as I was shuffling. Perception, that's the perception is what's your perception of wealth and what's your perception of abundance. That's why they gave me that conversation before we got this. <laughs> so there you go. See, they're always working. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive to be real and to take a good, hard, deep look at it. What is our true belief? What is our belief about being abundant? What is our belief about being successful? What is our belief about being wealthy? Right? What? And, and if they are wrong, filter. Filter and re, rebuild it. Change the way you say it. And, and allow yourself to learn something, a new way of looking at it. And we begin with rainbow. Now, rainbow has a whole bunch of different meanings throughout time and memoriam. I mean, it's a, it's a symbol of, of rebirth and reassurance and the promises of the universe. It's the energy of the spectrum of all of the uh, colors of light that come through uh, the prism energy. It's also the energy of all the chakra colors. And it's used for many, many different celebrations and people's uh, pride, right? And so there's more than one thing that a rainbow represents, but in all of them, they are all in the highest frequency. So very good energy here. And that's what uh, monks ascend to the rainbow light in order to, to go into nir nirvana. And we have, you are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold waits beyond the horizon. All will clear soon! Exclamation point. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed! Another exclamation point. Yay, team! We will take that confirmation. Uh, thank you, universe. <laughs> we confirmed and received. There we go. Can't take back. You can't back up out of that universe. We take it. It's already ours. Breakthrough. How many beautiful and heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear? How many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? It's time to break free of those false beliefs and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you 
Trust your inner guidance. And the time is right. Exclamation point. Now we got that right off the off the bat. And it's confirming it in this last little set of cards here. So let's see what this card is. Because remember, that one was trying to come out. So here we go. Eight of Swords. This is the energy of allowing yourself to not worry about how to take action. you got to let the universe work the pieces into place. And this is where if you start trying to think about it, all you're going to do is drive yourself crazy because you really have no ability to reach any of those swords. As you can see, first of all, you're blindfolded, so they're not readily apparent, appearing to you. And you can't reach them because the arms are, are held to a certain length. So that means if you can't see it, and you can't touch it and feel it right now. That means it's not fully uh, available to you, which means it's not fully here. You're, you've got to manifest it. And that's why this is all grayed out in the background. Because you're in that space of manifestation, which is the quantum. Which is the, the energy source field of all things. And that means the universe has to have time to put in front of you what you can actually move with. So keep your focus on creating it and drawing it to you. Keep the idea of what you want. And keep that flow going. And don't try to put it on a time schedule. Don't try to force it. The universe knows when you need it. When it must have happened, right? And uh, there's the timing. Three of swords. Three days, three weeks, three months. Third time's a charm. These three swords are not killing the heart. The heart doesn't look like it's bleeding out. It's a hold pattern. It's the, the intrinsic energy of knowledge and the universal energy of, of flow to be able to release those. And when they release and come out, then you can move forward with your whole heart. So it's it's got you in a place where you're going, I know there's something coming, but I'm not quite sure and I can't quite nail it down. And hello, Clarity. You can definitely nail it down now. The Ace of Swords is, first of all, it's an ace. It's a gift from divine. All aces are gifts. And this one helps you cut through the veil and see your way forward. So all the things that have been blocking your, your vision, whether it's energy or actual, it doesn't exist yet. Well, there it is, that one sword that's going to be your way forward that comes through after the universe helps you sort all that out. So that's a beautiful energy of saying everything is 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 available and the universe has more than enough we are unlimited and we can always provide you just have to wait for the timing for what you're trying to do and keep your focus okay don't have any doubt check your check in with what you perceive uh if there's any you know ask your higher self to show you any blocks any thoughts that are blocking your way forward any beliefs old outdated beliefs because a lot of times we have an old belief that we've carried since we were children and we didn't have any understanding at that time, which means the belief is not correct. So do a little investigation to help get some, some of that out of the way. So many blessings, my friends. Have a beautiful day. I send you love, light, peace, happiness, joy, divine healing. And above all, have fun in life, my darlings. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.